Elvira brought her ghoulish glamour to the small screen, there was another voluptuous vixen, Vampira. She was one of the original stars of KBC. The question is, where is she now? And George Pinocchio is here with the answer. Thank you very much, Philip. In the mid-1950s, Vampira rose weekly from her crypt to host a late-night scary movie right here on Channel 7. Today, the woman who played Vampira is 78 years old, and she's still a real scream. Call it Vampire Vision. When this sleek, sexy, and deliciously demented diva came onto the TV scene, she was an instant hit. Three weeks into her run, she made Newsweek. Three weeks after that, life. You know, I've often been asked why I don't light my attic with electricity. Ridiculous. Everybody knows electricity is for chairs. Today, 78 year old Myla Nurmi leads a very modest life. When Vampira was put to rest, Myla worked even harder. She opened an antique shop, created jewelry, made toilet seat covers, even cleaned toilets to make ends meet. Currently I'm drawing, doing drawings uh, of Vampira, and as, w as well as Vampira, but also uh, other horror figures, and I sell them on eBay. I need to have my rent once a month. I always hope that'll come true. <laughs> Has it been tough? Uh, yeah. Uh, not lately, but it's been tough. But it's been fun, too. As Vampira, Myla knew how to vamp it up. She even managed to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records. Despite 36-inch hips, with a little cinching and a little invention, she whittled her waist down to 16 inches. She doesn't mean for the following to sound as gruesome as it does. I invented a spot reducer that uh, ate away my flesh. It's the same thing we use steak tenderizer as papaya powder. So I put it in my cold cream and wrapped it on my waist and wrapped a... We didn't have um, plastic of any kind, so I wrapped a rubber inner tube around it and slept in it. And it was just eating my waist away. It was digesting my flesh. The image was that of KABC's internationally acclaimed glamour ghoul, Vampira. Vampira's television time lasted little more than a year, but the impression has lasted for decades, with fans who still appreciate the contribution Vampira so joyfully made. I'm thrilled. I don't have any, any babies uh, or any uh, social history that's remarkable, so I'm leaving something behind, you know, when the time comes to say goodbye, I'm leaving something. Of course, Milo was also in one of the worst movies ever made, Ed Wood's Plan 9 from Outer Space. Right now, writer Chuck Harder is working on a book about Milo's vampire days. And that is today's Hollywood wrap. Wow, that waist. I know. It's so tiny. tiny. It's incredible. <laughs> Thanks, George. <laughs>